so I just saw Janet Jackson live in concert. Hello, hello, hello. So anyone that knows me knows that I am one of the biggest Michael Jackson fans that there are. The History album on vinyl, The Invincible album on vinyl. I have the Bad album, it's just not here with me. The Dangerous album on vinyl, my favorite album as you can tell. When I was a kid in elementary school, and I think uh, middle school as well, I did multiple like Michael Jackson performances because I, I danced a lot and I would always mimic him. And I, I did a few different songs, performances at the school. I think there was Billie Jean and something else. Still today, like I don't have any videos, like recent videos to show for it, but like I'll go to my local dance studio and like by myself and just put on like the dangerous tour, the history tour, or the bad tour and just run through the entire routine because it's like a good form of exercise for me. But also I listened to that music like every single day. I didn't find out about Michael and who he was literally until the day that he died. I remember I was at the daycare that I used to go to and she was playing the news that said that he had passed. They were taken into the hospital and I that was the first time I had ever seen or recognized who Michael Jackson was after hearing his music all throughout my life. So right then I felt very sort of hurt by that because at that point it meant in the growing future I'd never be able to see him. Fast forward to now, I think it was a couple weeks ago, uh, Dee and I were watching the Janet Jackson documentary on Hulu, I think it was. I had seen it like when it came out, but I hadn't seen it since and she hadn't seen it at all. Over the past few months, I've sort of been welcoming her to the Jackson family of music. I've been playing Michael Jackson stuff and just the Jackson 5 music. Uh, maybe a little bit of Janet here and there, just like over and over and over and over again. And she hadn't really grown up with that. She told me that she grew up mainly with like Prince. Uh, her family would play Prince music all the time. Uh, so, and my family would too, but like I would always listen to Michael and like the Jackson's music. So throughout the house, I'll just be playing Michael music and she would be like, oh, okay. And we were watching the Janet Jackson documentary. A day after that, we went over to my parents' house and my mom was like, yeah, uh, so Janet Jackson's coming to, to um, she's coming here real soon. And I looked it up on my phone and it was just a week away and it was so much closer to where I live than I had expected it to. I mean, of course it was like an hour away, right? But still, like I didn't, I never even expected that. So immediately I'm like, I have to, I have to take off work. I have to, oh my gosh. Originally it was supposed to be a Mother's Day thing. I went and I got tickets because I knew if it was a week away, I have to get tickets now. Like there's, there's no way Like this is, this isn't just some normal celebrity. This, this is Janet Jackson. <laughs> So immediately I got tickets and I texted my mom and was like, hey, would you want to go to see Janet Jackson on Mother's Day? She was like, that's great. I have work the next day. I said, then I was like, okay, D, would you want to come with me? She was like, sure. Also, I have this thing to do on that day. And I also have this thing to do on that day. So I might not be able to make it. And I was like, I'm still going to see Janet Jackson. So fast forward to Sunday, D wasn't able to make it last minute and that made me really sad because I literally had like a whole row of seats next to me that weren't taken and I kept looking at it being like, I wish my best friend was here. I got my fit and everything and I started heading down to the, the, the venue and of course I was wearing the Michael Jackson dangerous tour shirt because I mean, come on i gotta represent it. traffic was backed up uh of course I, I actually saw a lot of people selling janet jackson tour shirts for half the price that they were uh at the actual venue they were like 20 bucks but at the venue they were like 50 which is funny because there was a lot of them there was a lot of people just walking down the street while the traffic was backed up so you'd be stopping and starting and they'd just be walking down the, the street i got janet jackson shirts 20 dollars you send me a cash app and i'm sitting here like i'm not sending you my cash app because I, i'm not trying to get scammed by you you clearly must not have a ticket if you're selling all these shirts but also it's just kind of funny because i'm pretty sure some of the shirts they were selling were supposed to be tour shirts but they weren't actually on the like the merchandising booth like i haven't i didn't see them at all at the booth so i'm like what did you did you fake a tour shirt and you're selling it i don't know it was very strange Got to the venue, uh, st stood in line for about an hour for the gates to open. Very nice people. Let me say this. I am so grateful to have made this my first concert experience because being that it's Janet Jackson, there were very, like, there was like no teenagers at all. For every 30 adults that were at least 30 or older in age, there were like one teenager. Like th there, there was no teenagers at all. You know, middle-aged people, a little bit older people, uh, you know, old heads, just 
enjoying music from their childhood and like nostalgia and stuff, knowing that it's Janet Jackson, like they grew up with her. So you don't have all this young, foolish nonsense, TikTok stuff. Like it, none of that was there. You, you don't. Everyone was so respectful, respectable, and just having a good time. And I loved that. I, I fear if I ever went to something like Nicki Minaj or Cardi B. And it would just be the most annoying thing I could ever even experience. Scanning the ticket was easy. Uh, it, you know, getting to the venue, getting to the venue was so much easier than I thought it would have been. I, I was so, I was stressing out because I, I knew it was going to be a whole bunch of people. Like that venue seated 20,000 people. And I was expecting the worst, but it literally, like it's so easy. And like the, 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 the seating is very organized there's numbers on the seats and everything and you know everyone just moves out of the way oh excuse me you know <laughs> like you're just going right through and it was really good the seats that i had was amazing because of course the venue it goes up as you go back and then there's the lawn area right i was down uh pretty close well not close close to the stage but like if I stood up, you could see the entire stage and being that it goes up as you go back. If you're standing up, you're always going to be able to see the stage unless the person in front of you is like a lot taller than you. I'm 5'8". So like the people that were in front of me weren't as tall as me, uh, maybe at my height. So I could always see. And if, even if I couldn't, I could just do like that. So it, it, it was they were really good seats. Uh, the DJ was really cool. He's playing a bunch of like old music, you know, he was playing Poison. He was playing Jackson 5. Just a bunch of old songs. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. You know, that kind of stuff. Then Ludacris came out, and I I, I guess I saw Ludacris live. I mean, I, I didn't realize that a lot of his songs were his songs. Like, songs that you would hear, like, in, like, meme compilations or just, like, at the school dance in fifth grade or whatever. I, I never realized that those were his songs. So hearing them and seeing him on stage, you're just kind of like, oh, Okay, I, I guess. The only thing that bothered me with Ludacris is that he would continuously say things like, are you guys ready to get the show started? Everybody would be like, yeah. And then he would just play one of his songs. I'm like, we're not here to see you. I, I mean, I'm sure people were, but I'm like, if, you, if you're if going to say, are you guys ready to get the show started? I want to hear Janet. Like, like, bring Janet out. But he would say that like five different times and he would just play another one of his songs. I'm like, okay. But it was still pretty lit. Now, when Janet came out, it was, I, I've never heard a crowd so loud, like so, so loud. And th this is something that I was thinking the entire time I was there. She didn't come off as this huge superstar, pop star, anything. Like I, weirdly, I was not as starstruck at the beginning as I expected to be. It got more and more so over, like over the concert. But when she first came out, I was not seeing a super super mega pop star it just felt it it really it almost felt like i knew her you know because I, I, i've never seen a celebrity up and up close I, i've never seen a celebrity in person so you know you're always watching them from a screen or like the tv the computer whatever and you're just you you subconsciously know that they exist but you don't really picture it right you see all these concerts and these interviews and all this stuff and you're like i would love to meet janet jackson and then when i saw her in person she was just a normal person singing and having a good time. If anything, she felt more like a mom, just like, just, just having fun, just grooving and vibing. I don't know how to explain it. It was so humbling. She was just having a great time. And again, as the concert went on, I was more like, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my God. Went through a whole bunch of songs. Now, I, I'm not too familiar with Janet's discography. Like I know a lot of songs, but not a lot of songs. You know, this was the Together Again tour. So she was doing a lot of songs throughout her history and it really made me want to start collecting her albums because there were so many songs that I loved and I, I didn't know the name of. Like, I'd never heard them before. But, of course, she did, like, the songs everyone knows, like, Nasty, Pleasure Principle, Control, uh, All For You. She did uh, uh, Rhythm Nation, uh, Black Cat. You know, like, I, so that made me really happy. The dancers were on point. She looked amazing. So beautiful. So, so beautiful. The production was great. Hearing her say the name of the area that we were in was kind of surreal. I, I didn't, it, in, in a weird way, it didn't really hit me that she was there in front of me until she said the name of the venue that we were at. And I was like, okay. Nice gay person in front of me just having the time of his life. And I was there for it. Oh my gosh. I love when people interact with the person next to them that they don't even know. They have no idea who they are. And they're just having huge conversations and loudly dancing and singing. Like, 
that is one of the best public experiences you could ever have because it, it's so real. It's such a real interaction and it, it, it it's like humanity. I, and I, I, I treasure that anytime I get to see it. And that whole front row in front of me was exactly like that. There was a point where Janet was singing a ballad and she asked everyone to put up their phone lights. And I'll show you footage of that, of course. It was, I've, I've never seen anything like that. When you look at the big screen, it's just glares and glares and glares. And I look behind me and so many lights. And she's up there just smiling and it's just absolutely heartwarming. Now I need to talk about this because th this, this absolutely, th this is the moment that I cried. <laughs> Janet did Scream, or part of Scream. And of course, that's the duet that she did with her brother, Michael, Michael Jackson. It started off with the audio. They played the audio. It was like, ah, like the scream. And immediately you, you, I looked around and you see people just like, like in such disbelief because you, you don't see anything. You just hear it. And then all of a sudden, and you see Michael on the screen, you know, died of injustice. I've never, the lady in front of me was crying too. Just hands up to her mouth. I saw so many people crying when they heard his voice. It's a testament to the legacy of this man that he is no longer alive and the moment you hear his voice you just burst into tears i've never seen a crowd so loud but so shocked i had looked around every if you weren't like smiling like mouth open like elated you were just in tears bawling and dancing at the same time like it was so unbelievable and I loved every minute of it. It was one of those things where I was so shocked that I felt the emotion in here while I was singing and I didn't actually see tears streaming on my own face until the song was over. <laughs> but she sounded amazing on that song. When she started like speaking, everyone got quiet. Like no one was like, yeah, like she, everyone wanted to hear it because that, I feel like everyone subconsciously knew that that was a moment for her. She did scream and it broke in the black cat and then it went to scream again and she finished it and just absolutely insane. The entire concert experience was crazy and I think the, the scream moment was when I really sort of started to realize that this is Michael Jackson's sister and it, it just, I didn't know what to think at that point. Like I, I, I was like, oh my gosh, this is, this is a, a real thing that's happening right now. It was so, so good. I'm so fortunate for the seats that I had, but really at that venue, any seat that you could have had is an amazing seat. Like even the lawn, if you're on the lawn far back in the venue, you can still see the stage pretty clearly. You gotta make sure you're standing up because everyone in the, the venue is gonna be standing up. You might not be able to see, but the, the lawn seats are like really, really good. That venue itself is just crazy, crazy. I love it. And that's pretty much my concert experience. Now I did get merchandise. I wanna show you guys that. There's a lot of merchandise that I got that, you know, I mean, when would I ever be able to do this again? So I, I'm gonna show you guys. So firstly, I got this cap. It's the Janet Jackson Together Again tour hat. Just a little baseball cap. I don't know if this is machine washable. I don't know if it matters, <laughs> but uh, pretty cool. Uh, it, it, you know, it, what's weird is her, her, her outfits on the tour on the, or at the show were mainly like gold and purple. There was one that was black and white, not green though. She didn't wear any greens. So I don't know why this is green. <laughs> it's still pretty cool. Three of these, th these are like a three piece bracelet. Uh, it's like one bracelet, just all in three parts. Peace, love, Janet, together again tour. I got one for me, one for D, and essentially one to keep sealed because I mean, just in case something happens to mine. That's just how I roll. That's for me and like any artist. If an artist is selling merchandise, whether it be online or at a concert or whatever, I'll, if I'm getting one for me, I'm usually getting two for me because I want to have one sealed in case I either lose one, mine gets damaged, that kind of thing. But also, I mean, it's just nice to have like, like in pristine condition. So, and then I got a shirt. So this is the Janet Jackson Together Again Tour shirt. Let me move the mic. So there's that right there. And on the back, it has all of the tour dates locations and everything just very very cool um medium so i'll wear that here and there wow yes okay so that was my janet jackson experience i hope you guys enjoyed 
uh, this video. I am still a bit overwhelmed by the fact that it happened. <laughs> That's pretty much it. So uh, leave a like, leave a comment if you want. I, I don't I, I don't normally say that. <laughs> so I don't that kind of threw me off. Anyways, uh, check out all the videos on the channel. There's a lot more to come. And I hope you guys enjoy what's here if you are a newcomer. So once again, as always, thank you for boarding my rainbow line. I'll see you guys at the next stop. See you. Samuel, Helen, Andrew, Brandon, Caroline, Daisy, Doni, Emilia, Gwen, Ian, Junior the Hedgehog, Common J, Megley, Mia T. Toon, Nerdy Disney, our friend Barney. Thank you to all of my Rainbow Line passengers. See you.